G'day guys, Menace here with another Ark Survival Evolved video though, this time I'm going to share with you a mod. This is a mod spotlight for the Ark Automation mod by Electroskeleton. It's found on the workshop, you can find it through the forums. It's a pretty cool mod, I found it a few days ago and I thought I'd share it with you guys. There's a whole heap of stuff that it's added and it makes life a little bit easier for those who are hanging out in the world of Ark. So let's go from the start here. Basically, we've got the first item in this tier of new items, the Tinker's Workbench. Now what you do here is simply place all the materials required for this one into the Tinker's Workbench and you can just pretty much make all of this stuff here. So over to the left, we've got the cauldron, right? This cauldron works exactly the same as the cooking pot does the same thing except you can chuck in a water skin and it will automatically refill so let's check that out so we simply place in a water skin like so and all the ingredients for your cooking and this will automatically refill we just have to go out of the inventory and back into it it should refill in a second there we go and that will fill up automatically so you could chuck in all your ingredients and automatically craft all of those now the catch with this one is you do have to have a tap within seven blocks of it to automatically refill so that's pretty cool then over here we do have the trash can now this trash can can be picked up and placed down at any point but what you can do is simply get rid of all the unwanted items so we could chuck this on the ground right then all we need to do is is walk up here and bump it like that and the item will completely disappear which is awesome now over to this thing this is obviously a fridge now this is a multi-block item and i found this very cool so underneath here we've got a standard fridge now with a standard timer exactly the same as the one we have in arc survival evolved as you can see there it's a day eight hours 49 minutes and 26 seconds we take it out of our inventory drops down significantly as always and we pop it over into the freezer then check this out it's like 14 13 times as much and they will last a heaps long compared to the other one. So that's 13 days in comparison to one day, which is awesome. Now over here, we've got a few other items. We'll check out the egg stuff in a minute. So over here, we have the compost bin. Now this is not any regular compost bin. It's an automatic compost bin. So any poop that is picked up here uh, that is dropped by our dillos on the ground over here will automatically be collected into the compost bin, which is pretty cool. So over here, this will feed the thatch automatically from here into the compost bin to create fertilizer now over here we have a silo this silo is like a mass storage for your fertilizer so it will automatically take the fertilizer from there and store it within this silo which is pretty cool keeping all of your fertilizer needs in there so a completely automated process which is good all you need to do is keep dinos nearby and thatch in the thatch feeder and you are good to go now over here this is is the egg crate what the egg crate will do is you put some dinosaurs nearby that are pooping out eggs as you can hear over here and what it will do is actually automatically just like the compost bin collect all those eggs for you to move over and to into your fridges and do whatever you please with them make into kibble and whatnot so all you need to do is have some dinosaurs around with some eggs and that will automatically pick it up and drop it in there then finally the last item in this uh amazing little mod is the incubator so this will actually take any fertilized eggs so you need to actually set some dinosaurs to mate they will drop out the egg this will pick them up and then automatically incubate them now that has to be power nearby so i've got a little power supply over here just need to turn that on and there is the humidity and we'll you know it'll it'll temper from there so that the temperature will be automatically done which is pretty cool so that does it for this mod video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. A little bit different to what we normally are doing. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. And I'll be doing more in the future. My name is Menace. Thanks for watching.